So today we're going to talk about the caster wheel kit for the bend pack lift. So a couple months ago, I did a video on assembly of my bend pack lift. Um, for those of you who haven't seen that that are curious, I'll put a link. It should be right about here on the screen. Um, uh, but it's a fairly detailed video of assembling the lift. And one of the things I showed just briefly was the caster wheel kit. Uh, now, that's one of the reasons I went for the four post lift instead of a two post is uh, I know no, no matter where I put it, if it was something that had to be bolted down, at some point it's going to be the wrong place. So I wanted something that was mobile. Uh, so I went for the four post lift and uh, I went for the optional caster wheel kit, the bend pack cells. Um, so I've had a few questions about this. One is, you know, are, how complex are they? Are they fairly easy to build? Uh, so I want to show a little detail on that. I think you probably could build some fairly easily. Uh, but also I think you could improve on the design a little bit. Um, so showing a little closer what, you know, it, it's fairly simple. It's you know, a heavy duty caster wheel. Uh, what is that? Probably about a six inch caster wheel. Um, obviously needs to be able to take the full weight of the lift. Uh, now you can't do this with a car on the lift. Uh, I've seen people do it, but you know, technically it's, uh, this is intended for moving the empty lift only, not for with the car. Uh, so these don't permanently attach. They're just, you, know, you put them on when you're ready to move it. Um, there is a, large pin that goes through, uh, there's some small holes uh, that lines up with the two holes on this end of the framework. Caster wheel is, you know, not quite centered, it's slightly, it's a little bit closer to this end. And then on the far end, you can see there is a notch here so that it actually fits into the, uh, into the cross rails when it pushes down keeps it from sliding side to side. Um, and if, if you're not careful when you drop the lift down onto this, this can get a little bit twisted and it won't be in that groove. So that's something to watch for. So let me show you how this actually goes onto the lift. And I'll show you some tips and uh, how I would improve it if I was gonna build some of these. So as I said, these install fairly easy. It's just, uh, you line it up with the holes that are already in the, the leg. Crossbar goes in, and then there's a washer and a cotter pin that go in the far end, keep it from sliding out. And that's all it takes to install. Now, as I mentioned, there's a couple tips here and um, something I would change if I was to build these, is these really don't have enough le leverage to, uh, well, sometimes they, they have trouble pushing down on this end enough to lift the legs sometimes. What I have found is when you lower it, make sure the wheel is pointing inward. Uh, that changes the fulcrum point so you get more leverage here and it's able to lift it. Uh, what I found was if you've got it like this, it, uh, it'll barely lift the legs at all. And more importantly, if you've got it sideways, it'll actually try to twist this and it may not line up this notch with the uh, crossbar. Uh, so I've found that if I turn them this way, it will uh, actually lift the legs. So once you do that, I always stand on it while I do this, uh, just to give it a little bit more weight. Um, raise it up enough to get it off the uh, emergency stops and simply lower it down. And it does go a little slowly without you know having the full weight of a car. I think it, over time, as the cylinder wears in, the uh, it'll probably move a little bit easier. But as we do this, it's you can hear those going into the notches. It still moves pretty slow, but it does lift them up. Sometimes it takes a painfully long time. Oh, I don't have all. Okay, I should follow my own advice. I, I had just moved this to make it easier to film and some of the other legs do not have the wheels pointing the right way. So that was a good demo. You see that this one picked up, but uh, you can't quite see it on the camera, but some of the other corners really aren't able to pick it up because the wheels pointed the, right way, the wrong way and it doesn't have the leverage. 
So I gotta lift this up and try it again. All right, let's try this again. So this time, now that I've got all the wheels pointing inward, so I've got better leverage, it still goes a little slow, you'll see, but it is able to lift it all the way up. So yeah, it takes it takes a minute. Actually, I could probably move it at this point. It moves a little easier if you get it all the way up. Uh, it feels a little more stable, but there you can see, we can now move the lift around. Um, it's fairly easy to move, especially once all the wheels get turned. You, you see, it didn't take me much effort to move that. Um, I have a nice smooth floor, which helps, but in general, it's uh, I've been pretty happy with it and they work pretty well. So of course, uh, taking it off the lift is, uh, or off the wheels is pretty simple. All you do, and you know, the, the legs do kind of bend in a little bit, and you know, they'll, they'll flop around when there's no weight, but once there's weight on it, it pulls everything right into alignment really nicely. Just as easy as that. So as I was saying, if I was going to build some of these myself, I would probably make this lever a little bit longer, uh, make it a little bit easier to raise things up. Uh, but other than that, uh, they work pretty well and uh, definitely a good addition to my shop. Um, so I'll probably be doing some other uh, simple little videos uh, about the lift. Uh, I've had some other questions. I've had some questions about the ramps and uh, you know, can they be removable? I do plan on modifying these so that I can easily remove them. Um, I'll probably get that up in a week or so. Um, of course, every time I say it's going to be a week, it ends up being uh, several weeks because I get busy with other things. Um, so if you want to be notified when uh, new videos come up, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button so the, uh, you know YouTube will notify you when I post new videos. And if you have questions, uh, other things you'd like to see in more detail about the lift or you know, anything else from uh, my other videos, uh, you know, definitely post some comments and I'll, uh, you know, if it's a simple question, I'll try to answer it in the comments. If it's something you want to see uh, in more detail, I'll try to shoot a video. So until then, uh, you know, get out in your shop, do something interesting.